Hi everyone and welcome back. This is Tiffany Garten with homesofdaytonabeach.com. Today we're going to be taking you on a tour of Ponce Inlet, a sleepy little town right here in Volusia County, Florida. One of our favorite things to do down here in Ponce is go fishing. And here you're going to find the Jesse Lindsay Public Boat Ramp. It is free to use and is open to the public seven days a week. They have several stalls to park your trailers in and a couple of different spots to lodge your boat. Now, if you don't have your own boat, but would like to get out on the water, come on down to Ponce Inlet Water Sports. Here, you're going to be able to take a dolphin or a manatee tour. They also do full and half day fishing charter trips, and you can rent kayaks or stand up paddle boards here. There's going to be something for everyone here at Ponce Inlet Water Sports to enjoy a fun day out on the water with. So after you've come back, you may be a little hot and want to cool off. So come on around to the storefront and get yourself some ice cream. They have tons of different flavors and every single flavor that I've ever had has been delicious. If you're interested in learning about some of the local marine and wildlife, then the Marine Science Center has you covered. The Marine Science Center is a really awesome family friendly experience. They have tons of marine life. They have a touch tank. And one thing that I really love about the Marine Science Center and Bird Hospital is that they are also a sea turtle and wild bird rehabilitation center. So there may have been sea turtles that are injured and they help nurse them back to health here. Another activity that we really enjoy doing here is going to the Lighthouse Point Park. Hey, oh, window down, no taxi driving, no alcohol. 10 miles an hour, use trash cans. It's really easy to get into and Volusia County residents can buy an annual park pass. You can purchase the beach pass for $25, but if you also want unlimited access to Lighthouse Point Park, then you can upgrade your pass to the combination pass for a total of $45. And what that does is that gives you access to the park as well as all of the drivable beach approaches here in Volusia County. Lighthouse Point Park is also one of the only spots in Volusia County where you can bring your furry friends. They do have a dog beach here at Lighthouse Point Park, so it makes it really nice to be able to bring your dog along, let them play in the water, splash around, play in the sand, and have a really fun day with Fido. Just down the road from Lighthouse Point Park, you are going to find a drivable beach approach. So if you do have one of those beach passes that I was talking about earlier, you just come on down to the guard shack, they'll scan you, tell you the rules that the gentleman previously was telling us as we were coming into the park, and you're right on the beach. So to the south is the drivable area of Ponce Inlet's beach, and to the north is the area where driving is not permitted. So if you'd rather be on a section of the beach where there is no driving allowed, then I would suggest going just a little bit further to the north and parking in one of those public parking places there along A1A. And you can just walk right on over and spend a fun day without having to worry about all of the cars coming down the beach. Ponce Inlet is going to be a lot less crowded than the Daytona area would be because it is a smaller town and not a lot of people come on down to Ponce Inlet. It's really more of a locals area, so it's going to be a lot quieter and not as much traffic as what you'd find there in Daytona. Ponce Inlet does have so much more to offer than beach and boating. Here you're going to find Ponce Preserve, which is a really awesome park here. They do have bathroom facilities. They have a ton of walking trails, one of which will take you to an old Indian mound and it goes all the way across to A1A so you can walk across to A1A and actually head on over to the beach from this park. They do have a lot of other nature trails that you can go on and they also have some areas for picnicking so if you wanted to bring a lunch and sit in the shade and enjoy your day, then you can absolutely do that here at Ponds Preserve. They also have a really nice boardwalk where you can walk out, break your fishing poles, do a little bit of fishing in the marsh here. And they also have a small area where you can launch kayaks and stand up paddle boards if you wanna go back through the mangroves. As you're driving around Ponce Inlet to get to all of these fun activities, just watch your speed because we do have gopher tortoises here and they do like to cross the road and they do it very slowly. Another really nice area to come to is what I like to refer to as the garden. It's very serene and quiet here and you can sit under the gazebo. They do have a couple of picnic tables and also some restroom facilities here. And they also do have a spot where you can fish back in the wetlands as well. 
Ponce Inlet does also have a community center where they host several different community events throughout the year. And just down the road from the community center is a very nice park. They do have two separate playground equipment areas, one of which is shaded. They have very nice restroom facilities. They also have a basketball court, and here you will see that they do have tennis courts. And as we walk down just a little bit further, you're going to see that they also have several different pickleball courts set up. That is a very popular activity here in Ponds Inlet as well as Volusia County as a whole. So that's nice that they have those set up for us here. If you're looking to get your furry friends some exercise, then come down to Happy Tales Dog Park. This park is super shaded, it is so clean and nice, and it's just a really great place to get your dog some exercise. Another thing that we really enjoy doing while we're down here in Ponce Inlet is coming to Off the Hook at Inlet Harbor. One unique thing about this restaurant is that you can either arrive by car or you can arrive by boat if you do have one. They have delicious seafood, appetizers, they've got live music. It's just a really fun atmosphere. And if you do have a boat that you do not keep at your home, they do offer boat slip rentals as well as fishing charters here at Off the Hook. Off the Hook also is home to King of the Inlet, which is a really fun fishing tournament that they put on every year. They also do have a marina here where you can dry dock your boat if you wish. If you're looking for a history lesson, then come down to the Meyer Davis house. While it is not open every day of the week, it is so informative and the volunteers who work here have so much knowledge about Ponce Inlet and the history that this town has had as a fishing town throughout the years. There's a ton of history here. It's so much fun and it's so informative. If you didn't get enough history at the Meyer Davis House, then head on over to the Ponce Inlet Lighthouse and Museum. It's a really fun experience, and if you climb all the way up to the lighthouse top, then you'll get really great panoramic views of the ocean as well as the intracoastal. We also do have a park area for the kids to play with restroom facilities, and it's just right across the street from Hidden Treasure, another really great restaurant here in Ponce Inlet. You can also partake in adventures such as parasailing, jet ski tours, and sailing. Thank you so much for watching this video about Ponce Inlet. And of course, if you have any questions regarding any real estate related needs with Ponce Inlet or any other place here in Volusia County, feel free to reach us at www.homesofdaytonabeach.com.